Hey, it's Ilza from DeskTime. Let's talk about time tracking. The world of work is changing. Both employers and employees face increasingly complex socioeconomic and global risks. The rapid rise of AI also means that very few of us really know what our workplace will look like in, let's say, five years. In the midst of all this uncertainty, time tracking can be a valuable tool for both you and your employer that'll help you regain a sense of control. For your employer, it's a safety net. It means they're on top of what's going on in their team and they can allow you more freedom without micromanaging. For employees, it can be a useful tool to show your employer that you are here, you are doing the work, and you are doing it well. If your workload becomes too overwhelming or you constantly have to work late hours, you'll be able to ask for support based on real data, not just a hunch or a feeling. A time tracking tool like DeskTime will bring transparency and honesty to your workplace that will go both ways. Both you and your employer will benefit. So if you're new to DeskTime, we're really happy to have you. Let's go over what you need to do to start tracking your work hours with us. First, the account owner will invite you to the company's desk time team, and you'll receive the invitation in your work email. In the email, you'll see your desk time username and password. Click on the Join the Team button. This will take you to the desk time main page. Here, type in your username and password from the email you received. Once you've logged into your account, you'll see a pop-up asking you to download the desk time app. Download the app and log in using the same credentials. And there you have it. Now you can start tracking. You can always access your own daily productivity statistics by clicking on the desk time icon in your toolbar and selecting show my desk time. Let's have a look at what you can see on your desk time homepage. Your My Desk Time section will contain all your productivity statistics. Let's talk about what each of these metrics means. Arrival time is the first track time of the day. So if you arrive at work and start tracking your day at let's say 9.30 a.m., that's the time you'll see here. Similarly, left time is when you quit desk time, turn off your computer and head home. Productive time is what you've spent on productive apps. Remember that app productivity levels aren't set in stone. Your manager can update app productivity at any time. So if you need something changed, you can simply ask. Desk time time is all the time you've spent on your computer plus manually logged in tasks or calendar meetings. Next up, time at work means all the hours from when you arrived to when you left, including offline or private time or moments when desk time went idle. Effectiveness is your productive time divided by your minimum hours for the day expressed as a percentage. Lastly, we have productivity. This percentage shows how much time you've spent on productive apps throughout the day. Below, you'll see your productivity bar. It shows an overview of your productivity levels throughout the day, divided into segments of five minutes. This bar will show not just productive, unproductive, and idle time, but also offline and private time. Next, let's talk about how to track your progress on specific projects or tasks. Below the productivity bar, you'll find the project section. Here, you'll see exactly how much time projects take out of your day. This feature can be super helpful for several reasons. First, you'll be able to see your own work habits, what types of tasks take a bit longer or the exact opposite, what tasks you can do faster than expected. Second, this feature can be enormously helpful for your manager and your team in planning future projects. You won't have to guess how much time each task will take. You'll be able to base your deadlines on past data from desk time. This way, your team will be able to avoid stressful project bottlenecks that can lead to burnout. How you track your progress on specific tasks depends entirely on your team lead. So if you think this feature might be helpful, don't hesitate to ask them about it. On your My Desk Time page, under the Projects tab, you'll see a section called All Shifts. Shifts are an important part of desk time. You can view your shifts either on the My Desk Time page or in the Work Schedules tab on the left-hand menu. If your company has set working hours, for example, nine to five, your shifts will correspond to those hours. However, if your company practices a flexible schedule, you can use the Work Schedules tab to log in your upcoming shifts, which will then be approved by your supervisor. In the Work Schedules tab, you can also view your teammate shifts, as well as which days they'll be working remotely or from the office. Don't forget that your arrival and left times will also depend on these shifts. So if your shift starts at 11 a.m. and you arrive 20 minutes later, desk time will note that you arrived late. All right, that's it from me. Do you have any other questions about using desk time? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was useful. 
See you in the next one. Bye.